the clefts of the rock. It's like, you know, it's like in a, out, you know, in the, in the hidden places. And that word, the crannies of the cliff, it literally means in the secret place, in the hidden place. I'm going to look at something I really love today in the scriptures, the book of Song of Solomon. Song of Solomon is a, uh, uh, really talks about intimacy with the Lord. And I was reading today in Song of Solomon chapter 2, verse 14, 14 and 15 actually. It says, Oh my dove, in the clefts of the rock. Now you, you got to understand this is a, uh, symbolically, Jesus speaking to his bride, or Jesus talking to you. It says, Oh, my dove, Jesus speaking to you, oh, my beloved, in the clefts of the rock, in the crannies of the cliff, let me see your face. Now, first of all, in the clefts of the rock, it's like, you know, it's like in a, out, you know, in the, in the hidden places, in that word, the crannies of the Cliff, it literally means in the secret place, in the hidden place. And it talks about God's desire. Jesus longs for you to go someplace and get alone, get by yourself in that secret place of the cliff, that hidden place. He says in that hidden place, in our secret place, let me see your face. Let me hear your voice. For your voice is sweet and your face is lovely. You know, friends, if we understand that, the desire of the Lord, you know, just like a man desires his bride, just like a man wants to be with his beloved, so Jesus, he wants to, he wants to see your face in that secret hidden place. He wants to hear your voice in that quiet, secret place. He wants you to have fellowship, an intimate relationship with Him. And then once you do, see, once you, you survive, once, once you give to Jesus, let's say, what He's looking for, that meeting in the secret place where He sees your face and hears your voice in the quiet place, you know, to me that speaks of just sometimes just going into the quiet place of your own home, shutting the door, you know, turning off your iPhone, <laughs> you know, all those things that distract and just for a few minutes, show your face to the Lord, let Him hear your voice, sweet worship and sweet intimacy. Then in verse 15 it says, catch the foxes for us, the little foxes that spoil the vineyards, for our vineyards are in blossom. So, you know, what does that say? It's the little things. It's the little things that spoil the, you know, the little foxes. It's not a big lion many times. It's not some big, you know, uh, some big wild beast. No, it's the little foxes that spoil the vineyards, that spoil that, that vineyard that's in blossom, that intimate place. It's the little foxes that destroy your vines. So friends, catch, catch those foxes. Destroy those foxes before they destroy your vine. Go to the secret place, that secret cranny on the cliff, and let the Lord hear your voice.